that's fine. Um, so I wanted to talk about Dr. Christine Ford and Donald Trump and um, Brett Kavanaugh, Judge Brett, Judge Brett Kavanaugh. Um, so I happened upon the TV last night, and what I should have been casting from is what I'm looking at right now is CNN. Um, two things. Well, really, three, maybe four. Um, I had a really hard time watching, uh, it's so hard for me to say President Trump, Donald Trump, President Trump, POTUS, <sighs> um, laughing and making fun of Dr. Christine Ford and then encouraging an entire base of his supporters to laugh when that was the very thing she said that she could definitely indelibly remember from it being embedded in her hippocampus of her brain was the uh, just the laughter at her expense that went on by them. The laughter. And so what does this stupid jerk of a POTUS do? He gets out there and he makes fun of her so that everybody's laughing. And I'm sorry, that's a very misogynistic thing to do. It's sadistic, it's cruel, he's like he's like a big boy with his marbles that he wants to play and nobody wants to play with him, so he's gonna he's just messed up. That is the most messed up thing I've ever seen. But besides all that, besides how messed up he is, because I don't want to ruin my fast, because I've been thinking pure thoughts. Um, really, I have. Um, let's flip it. Let's say, okay, let's 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 think about what Dr. Ford is saying. What she is saying is, we were going to meet our friends with their friends at a house. You know, like a pre-gathering to talk about a party where there was going to be alcohol. And that's not uncommon at all for teenagers to do, is to go meet up, like, in the evening at a house where maybe the parents aren't home. Or just, maybe, you know, just meet up when the parents aren't home from work yet, after school, or... Um, to me, I think it was like a, it was definitely a summertime, but it, it makes perfect sense that she would not remember the house, the number of the house, the color of the house, the outside of the house, because it's not an important detail. It's really not. If she's with her friend and they're saying, we're going to go to whatever house we're going to go to, we're going over here to this kid's house, or, or we're just going to go to a house and we're going to go talk about all together, we're going to meet up, talk about the party later, and if there's going to be a party, and if there's going to be booze, who's going to get the booze, who's, whose house are we going to have the party at where the parents aren't going to be there, blah, blah, blah. This is something that happened where I was growing up all the time. Kids, and it still it does. Kids get together after school, after summer events, camp stuff at summer. They get together and they talk about, well, oh, where are we going tonight? Well, who's, whose house is going to be open? Well, Who's got the money for the keg? Well, who can get the keg? I mean, who's got a bar that's open that we can play with a little bit? I mean, they, all right, so the kids were doing teenage things. She's not going to remember the house. What if it was dark? What if it was dusk? What if it was, there was no reason for her to look at the house because they were all just laughing and giggling and going in? She was drinking a beer with her friends, maybe they were all just ha, 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 and walking into the house. Kids at that age, they want to feel a part of, they want to feel cool, they tag along, they just end up places. They don't take note of, I'm driving up to a house, and the house number is, and the color of the house is, and the driveway looks like that, and so-and-so, I think, lives on the street, too, and the car is this, and the car is that. She gave a great description of the house. And how when she walked in, what was there, and going up the stairs, and the bathroom, and how she got out. She gave an awesome description. But if you're going to say this didn't happen because she can't remember every little detail before the date, how she got there, how she got home, other than she said she was running for her life and terrified. And she ran all the way home. Um, okay. 
How come? Every single one of the accusers of Bill Cosby have a compromised memory because they were slipped a drug in a drink and everything they remember is considered key. It's all okay. It's okay because they remember why they were meeting Mr. Cosby. Most of them wanted to get a job or something, an audition, or they were just going to meet and greet or whatever, or he wanted to meet them. So they remember that detail, but everything else is kind of foggy. They kind of remember. But their word is true. You know how many women are date raped? They're slipped a drug, or like years ago, what they used to call it slipping somebody a Mickey. They're not going to remember many times their their dress is over their head or their uh, hood is put over their head. And they don't remember where, how they got into that room or what house they went through or what street they went down. Okay? You'd have to start saying every little girl that was walking home from school, every little boy that ever got abducted is going to remember every house they were walking by before somebody jumped out of a van, threw a hood over them, and put them in a truck and drove away. But they were going to have to remember all that in order to say, that's the person who kidnapped me. That's the person that knocked me off my bike. I know that's the person. I don't know where I went to. That's the person. Think of a child kidnapped. They're riding their bike. They're going in this direction. Along comes a, a van. The worst nightmare that you could think of, right? Do, do you think they're not their face is not covered? Or when they end up where they end up, they don't even sometimes they don't even but they know who did and what happened. So and that's what I keep thinking of. Is it just it, for everyone to be laughing at her that was in that crowd? For Donald Trump to be encouraging that is disgusting. Memory is not fluid from a to Z. That's not how memory goes. Introduce a trauma to it, it really doesn't go that way. Introduce a lot of years to it, it really doesn't go that way. Introduce a little alcohol, it doesn't go that way. Now, she's saying she wasn't drunk. She had one beer. But she just doesn't remember the house because it wasn't an important detail. That wasn't an important detail. What was important was that she went upstairs to go to the bathroom and she ended up getting thrown into a bedroom and with him on top of her and and then the other guy and and had they not toppled over, she was fearing for her life that she might not be able to breathe, that she might die in that room. She didn't know what was going to happen to her. And she made it out of that room, down the stairs, out the door, and ran down the street to go home. Her chances are the house is not that far from her if she made it home. But she doesn't remember how she got home. That is so typical. That is so freaking typical. And to hear Donald Trump being up there going, oh, she had a beer, she can't remember where. I, I'm sorry, I can't listen to stupid anymore. I can't listen to arrogant, misogynistic, stupid, just stupid on top of stupid. Everyone is innocent until proven otherwise, and then it's between them and God. But the way this man acted to meet those accusations, I don't think a Supreme Court judge worthy, bottom line, not Supreme Court judge worthy for me, and he lied. He lied because... We know that goofing is not party. We know that a devil's triangle is not card game. Uh, hey, what, <laughs> what do you say it was a, a card game, or did you say it was a, no, a drinking game? No, I, 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 don't, I can't even remember what he said it was. Just so many lies upon lies upon lies. Um, yeah, I believe Dr. Christine Ford. 
So I just want to say that. Thanks. Have a nice day.